Hi everyone, welcome back. This is level 21, Neneri Ring. Yeah, I don't know how to properly pronounce that first word. But I did read somewhere that the first word is an anagram of the word inner. And by anagram, I mean having the same number of letters as another word. So in other words, the name of this level is the inner ring. The boar shed right there, and another one right here. Yeah, right off the bat, we encounter all three of the brand new robots of the system: the spider, the spawn, and the boar shed. Die already? Good God! So yeah, this is the first level of the Omega system. And the Omega system is the only system in Descent 2 that has two planetoids. Uh, the first planetoid, which is where we're at right now, is the Puma Spear. And the Puma Spear consists of the first three levels of the Omega system. And the second planetoid is Tycho Brahe, which consists of the fourth and final level. Not only of the system, but also of this entire game. So yeah, we'll be getting to that at the end of the let's play. I know I want to take care of all these spawn robots. So yeah, as you can see, the spawn robots are pretty damn fast, so pretty much the only way to uh, take them out effectively is by using the Omega Cannon. Pretty much required to, uh, well, well not required, but it's a weapon that I recommend for you to use against the spawn. I'm going to switch my gas cannon because I am very low on energy right now. And I'm going to backtrap because I think another trap has opened up. A trap that I want to access. Yep. Robots in there? Nope. Shoot that panel and uh, there are some walls that will open up that we can have access to. And there's a board straight over at the side to be careful. There we go. So yeah, the board sheds are very nasty robots. They will fuck you up if you're not careful. The smart missiles they fire, they can do a good amount of damage. And they're basically another mini-boss type robot in Descent 2. Yeah, you get like 1150 points for destroying a boar shed. That's almost half the points you get for... Or half the number of points that you get for killing a thief. this way because there is an energy around here that I, uh, an energy center around here that I want to, that I want to reach before I continue on. And it is right down here. So yeah, the levels at the Omega system, they are pretty tough and unforgiving in terms of the robots and the traps. Oh, by the way, don't go through this door right here because there's a materializer that'll spawn some uh, spawn robots and blue guards. Yeah, this materializer right here. It'll only go off if you go through that door that I ignored. Let's we'll go through this door. And I heard another trap open. And whoa! Don't lag on me, game. So again, let's go back to the start, kill all the robots there. Because if I die, the robots will be spawn camping me, and I do not want that. Yeah, they're all over the place. Okay, one of them went through that door down below. Oh, 
Where are you? There you are. Gotcha. <laughs> All right. Anyway, I apologize for my lack of activity on YouTube again. Because, once again, I've been having internet problems. Dad and I, my dad and I went ahead and replaced the, uh, the wiring in the router and the modem. Hopefully that will fix the problem. I don't know if it will, but it seems to be working so far. Alright, let's head on back this way. We now have the blue key, but I want to go up here first because there's something here that is quite important. Oh, and there's the thief. And I got the thief trap. Yeah, that is a bad place to be, Thiefy. <laughs> nice. So, anyway, what could be up here, you're wondering? Well, pretty much this. A teleporter to the sixth and final secret level of Descent 2. This is Chain Reaction. And this is a very unique level because here's a new design for the reactor, which I really like. The reactor looks like it's upside down to me. That's why I like that reactor so much. Now here's the catch of this secret level. There are multiple reactors here. And the more reactors you destroy, the more time will be added to uh, the uh, self-destruct sequence. And I'm going to keep track of how many reactors that I've destroyed so far. So that, that was two. And there's three. And there are a shit ton of goodies to pick up here. And I mean a shit time. So that's four, and I've earned myself an extra life. We're reaching the 50,000 point mark. That's five. And down here is another extra life. Down over here. That was reactor number six. And that's it, nothing else in here. And here's a mega missile. And a smart missile. And over here was number seven, I believe. And yet another extra life. And here's reactor number eight. And yet another extra life. And down here, reactor number nine, and an Earthshaker missile. And the Mega missile. So that was nine reactors so far, and we are not finished yet. There's more reactors to destroy. And that was reactor number ten right there. Okay, moving on to number 11. And yet another extra life. Man, I'm on fire here. There's a, mer uh, a mega missile. I almost said mercury missile. And that was number 12. And there's uh, nothing else here. Reactor number 13. And an Earthshaker missile. And the final reactor is not in here, but in here. Uh, oh, yeah. Another extra life. And 14 reactors in total. Crazy or what? But anyway, that's it with this secret level. Let's head on back to level 21. And 
let's grab this vulnerability. Whoa! That was loud. All the spawn shooting at me. What the hell? Why is my weapon not firing? Uh, okay, did you hear that? That was me pounding on my control key. Okay, now my weapon's firing. There we go. Okay, that was weird. I don't know why my weapon wasn't firing. That never happened to me before. But anyway, we got the blue key and we're not going to go through that door guide bot. We're going to take an alternate route. So we won't shut off that uh, materializer. So yeah, let's go this way now. Uh, beyond the blue door is a switch that will release the red robot that is carrying the red key. We'll go ahead and release that robot. Go back here and destroy all the spawn around here. Oh, hi, Lou Guard. Alright, up, uh, whoop, where are you? Come out, come out, wherever you are! Ah, screw it. Let's grab the cloaking device and go after that red robot. Wherever he may be. Okay, I got him. Key and let's destroy that panel so we can continue on. We go down here now. Down through this door. Oh, there you are. <laughs> I was wondering where the hell you went. Oh god. Get away from me. Fuck off. Alright. Feels a bit low. I just hope I can make it through the rest of the level without dying. And I have no idea where my guide bot went, but I don't care. I, 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 I don't go backstabbing me. I can use this for my converter. There we go. Oop. And there is a panel right here that you have to destroy in order to open up this wall. And there's a blue guard guarding the exit. Hi. Bye. <laughs> uh, what do we have? Spider. More spider. Oh wow, none of the spiders spawned any spawn. That's interesting. Whoa! There we go. Ow. Uh, mega. There we go. And there's the reactor right there. And pretty much all the robots have been destroyed. And that's not the weapon I meant to bring now. Oh, let's destroy the reactor and get going. Self-destruct sequence activated. Alright. That's it for this level. Let's go ahead and exit!
And that was the Nary Ring. Well, that was a lot easier than I expected. But, trust me, it's going to get a lot worse in the upcoming maps. And you will see that in the next video. I'm going to go ahead and save my game. And I'll see you guys next time.